Correr una ultramaratón de montaña no es para todo el mundo. Requiere un gran entrenamiento físico y una voluntad de hierro. Para esta edición de The North Face Endurance Challenge, la cumbrecita, llegaron atletas de muchos sitios. Pero hay una muy especial que vino desde su California natal. Se llama Rory Bocio. Es enfermera y atleta. Y es la única mujer que está entre los 10 mejores tiempos en dar la vuelta al Monte Blanco. En esas 100 millas, esos 160 kilómetros en la frontera entre Italia, Suiza y Francia. Esta es su historia. I grew up um, in the Sierra Nevada mountains in California, near Lake Tahoe, and I grew up in a very active family. So I started running when I was a little kid just because everybody was doing it and because my mom would just take me along with her. And at first, um, you know, when I was like a little kid, like eight or 10 years old, I did not love trail running. You know, I was used to playing like soccer and that kind of stuff. Um, but as I got older, like when I became a teenager, I really, really fell in love with trail running, like cross country, like I did cross country in high school. And a friend suggested to me, said, oh, you should try doing this 50 kilometer ultra race. And I thought, well, sure, I'll try it. Not thinking that I, like thinking I would just do it once just to do it. And I did it and I really liked it. And so then I kind of just kept progressing. Like I did after the 50 kilometer, I did an 80 kilometer. And after that, I did a 160 kilometer. And so that's kind of just how it progressed. It's magnifico aquí. Me gusta la tierra. I found that I really loved that distance and that it suited my abilities really well. So I find that the longer distances are better for me and I can do better at those. When I won um, UTMB or when I win other races, um, I guess the, usually the elation that I, I feel elated for sure, because everybody likes to win, right? It's like, of course. But my own personal fulfillment does not, is not based off of a result. It's based off an experience. When I look back, like when I think about UTMB, The memories I have are not of crossing the finish line. They're not of being on the podium. It's like little moments throughout the race, like the sunset coming off of the Col de Ferre. Like, I remember that. I don't remember, like, finishing the race. So it's those types of experience. Um, I work um, as a nurse in a pediatric um, intensive care unit at like a large university hospital. So I work with very, very sick children. Um, you know, I've taken care of many children who have died. Um, I've done like CPR on many kids, very, very sick kids. So in my job and in running, um, there's, you always hit difficult moments, no matter what, it's like anything. Um, during those low points, I try to stay focused on one thing. When I'm running, I think about everything. Anything and everything will go through my mind. Sometimes I will go over incidents that might have got, happened at work, which actually that's what running for me is so great. It's the mental release and the mental health benefits I get from running because there's no way when you experience something like taking care of a kid, like seeing a kid, seeing your patient die or something, there's no way you can just leave that at work. It does go with you. And I use running as a way to work through some of those like negative emotions that I might get from other experiences in life. Banana. I think the most important thing when it comes to running is attitude. I think it's how you approach the sport. If you're looking at it as something that you just have to do this race because you want to feel tough and satisfy your ego, I think that's, for me at least, that's not a good approach. I always perform and do better when I'm viewing a race as a challenge that I'm welcoming and something when I view it like, okay, I'm going to go out and just feel joy and express myself through movement of my body. Running for me is life. 
Running is a way of life, my number one love. Sorry to my future husband. <laughs> You're always going to be number two. <laughs> Y llegó, y llegó, y llegó Rory Bocio, ganando los 80K en The Noy for the Endurance Challenge. Impresionante. Quiero venir otra vez, el año próximo. Estoy aquí. Y llegó Rory, llegó Rory, y por supuesto, la ganó. Una mujer increíble. Ahí la tenés. To shine, shine 